Welcome back to the big show. 20 minutes to the top of the hour. It is a tradition that means summer and blockbusters. It's the big movies that make their way into the theaters and Memorial Day is the day the movie train starts rolling. Mark Walters, he's from BigFanboy.com, the one stop shop for all things movies. He joins us now to talk movies. Mark, how are you, buddy? Mitch, I'm doing great, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm very excited about these uh, new movies coming out. First out, already in theaters, Prince of Persia. Uh, this looks high debt. Is this a Jerry Bruckheimer film? This is a Jerry Bruckheimer okay. film, and this is going to be a big year for Jerry Bruckheimer because not only does he have Prince of Persia, uh, May 28th it opened, and he's also got Sorcerer's Apprentice coming up July 16th. This guy's rocking and rolling. He's just cranking him out. He's got Pirates coming up next, Pirates 4. I mean, it's, wow. it's going it's to be crazy. I think, Bruckheimer, I think the only time he did, didn't he do Kangaroo Jack? Wasn't that the one bomb that he had? Did he do that movie? Which one? Kangaroo Jack. Do you remember that one? All right, we'll move on. I, I yeah. think he did. I'm not, I threw you on the spot there. There's some other big movies, and that's going to take me back to the 80s. Tell us about them. Well, first off, no, there's one little sci-fi one, right? Well, well, the, are you talking about are you talking about the A-Team and Karate Kid? The we are. Retro, the big retro movie craze yes. going on right now. You know, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm pretty excited about both of these movies because, I mean, I was a big fan of the Karate Kid, you know, as a kid. Yeah. And, and, and the A-Team, I mean, who didn't grow up watching the A-Team? You know, and I think both of these movies look... Like they're pretty loving tributes to the source material. I think they're going to be great. They both open up open up on June 11th, so I think you know fans of retro 1980s TV shows will will have to pick one or the other, yeah. and I think you can't lose there. Well, and it seems like they're going after a little younger audience with uh, Will Smith's boy playing the Karate Kid and Jackie Chan. You can't go wrong with him when it comes to uh, martial art movies, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We skipped over one real quick. We did. I wanted to mention, and that was uh, Splice, which opens up June 4th. Really, really cool atmospheric sci-fi film. Great, great movie. Uh, director Vincenzo Natale, uh, who did Cube, he's, he's absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend that. Also, Michael Douglas has got two movies this year, Solitary Man, Wall Street 2, uh, Killers opens up on June 4th. Lots of great stuff in the month of June. And I, it's not like I need to mention Toy Story 3. I mean, everyone's going to go see that anyway. Right? What is this movie about, Mark? I've never heard anything <laughs> about Toy Story. Uh, does I it... think it has something to do with toys. Okay. Um, does this put a conclusion? Uh, have you heard any big buzz about this? Is this, you know, kind of like how Ever After is going to end the Shrek? Is this going to end the Toy Story franchise? Well, you know, it's funny because Shrek Forever After went back and forth between calling itself the final chapter and Forever yeah. After. I think I think just about any movie, if it makes enough money, will never necessarily be the last movie that comes out. So uh, we'll see with Toy Story 3. I think it would be great to keep Toy Story as a trilogy. But you know what? I love Pixar movies so much. Yeah. I, I say the more the merrier. Well, here's, do you want to feel old, Mark? Um, little The owner, well, I can't think of the guy, the kid's name. He's going to college. That's oh. a, the, the premise of this movie. They tell you a little bit how long and uh, the duration of Toy Story has been. I remember seeing the previews, and when it was like Andy going off to Andy. college and the kids talking, or the toys talking about selling themselves on eBay, it made me feel old. It, it did. Really did. Andy goes to college. Finally, uh, actually, two more. We got uh, Tom Cruise selection, Night and Day. Is Night this Mr. Day. and Mrs. Smith? Yeah, there's two movies actually coming out back to back in June. There's Killers with Ashton Kutcher and Katherine Heigl, and then there's Night and Day, uh, which comes out with Tom Cruise, Cameron Diaz. Both of these kind of fall into that Mr. and Mrs. Smith formula. They both look like they're going to be a lot of fun. I, I think, you know, Tom Cruise, you can say what you want about the guy. He always goes 110%. That's true. Uh, and I think, that, I think Night and Day is going to be a fun movie. Finally, some vampire movie I don't know. No one talks about anymore. Okay. Yeah, the Twilight Saga Eclipse, again, like I need to tell people to go see the movie. Yeah. You know, it's directed by David Slade, the guy <laughs> that did 30 Days a Night, and if anybody can do something with this franchise to make it really interesting, I think he's the guy. All righty. Finally, your pick. You only got a few seconds. Which one do I need to see? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the two movies I'm most looking forward to, and that's Inception, which comes out July 16th, the new uh -huh. Christopher Nolan film, and Predators, Robert Rodriguez is producing, comes uh -huh. out July 9th. It's gonna all be righty. Fun. Well, I'm going to go see the A-Team no matter what. You're the man. More information on all these movies and Big Boy Band, head to our website, dailybuzznow.com.